Act 5. It has been 15 years since the battle and Roxanne has been staying in a monastery for the last 14. Every week, Cyrano visits her on Saturday to tell her the news of the world. The sisters and Mother Marguerite talk about how Cyrano doesn't make a good Catholic and teases them, but they all know he's very poor and often doesn't have enough food. He will never take anything they offer, though. De Guiche comes to visit Roxanne. He's now a duke and he and Roxanne are talking about Christian. She still carries his letter with her everywhere. The Duke asks about Cyrano and Lebray says he's doing badly. He's alone and poor. The Duke, however, envies him because Cyrano is still free and can do whatever he wants. The Duke even says he'd be honored to shake his hand. After talking to Roxanne, the Duke warns Lebray that Cyrano has made some very powerful enemies. The Duke leaves and Regano comes in. He wants to see Roxanne, but she leaves and Regano talks to Lebray. Regano tells Lebray that as Cyrano was leaving for the monastery, he turned a corner and someone dropped a fire log on the top of his head. Cyrano now has a huge hole in his head. Regano got a doctor and left Cyrano unconscious in his bed to get Lebray. They both run back to go see Cyrano. Roxanne comments on how beautiful the autumn day is. It's sunset now. Cyrano soon appears to tell Roxanne the news. Roxanne's working on an embroidery and doesn't notice him, but Cyrano is very pale and has a hard time standing. He sits next to her and she doesn't look up. After the nuns leave to get some food and some small talk, he starts telling Roxanne the news, but after a little while he faints. Roxanne looks over and hurries to him to see if he's okay. As Cyrano comes to, he asks if she still has that last letter from Christian. She says yes, and he asks if he can read it. She agrees, and he starts reading. As he reads, Roxanne starts noticing and remembering that voice. She heard it somewhere before, then she remembers the balcony. As he reads, it gets darker to the point where he couldn't possibly be reading anymore. Roxanne realizes that all the writing was Cyrano's and not Christian's, and that he loved her all those years. At that moment, Lebray and Regano come running in and tell Roxanne that Cyrano has killed himself by coming here. Roxanne admits to having loved Cyrano as he was the soul she fell in love with. Cyrano starts to lose his sanity more and more. Lebray and he talk about a scene that he wrote that was used in another play, and then Cyrano talks about how he always worked behind the scenes. When Roxanne says she loves him, Cyrano comments how when Belle told the Beast she loved him, the Beast became beautiful. Roxanne comments how she's loved only one man, but that she lost him twice. Cyrano then starts saying how death is coming for him, and that he'll fight till the end. He sees the moon, his old friend, and says as he meets God, after fighting everything, he will still have unstained his white plume.